end of their career that planned retirement would be a part of our cost reduction. We have planned for uh, retirement this year two people. We have a third, we have two others that are possibly going to go this year, and we have two additional for next year. So by this time next year, we could have a reduction of six people in the, on the payroll. That's more than 10 percent. That's more than 10 percent. Now, now, you could have taken the harsher approach and simply laid those individuals off before they were able to retire. That was not a decision this board wanted to make, and it functionally accomplishes the same thing uh, by allowing retirements to take place mm -hmm. or encouraging retirement to take would, place. Would you not probably not even do as well because if your layoffs have come from a lower end of your your layoffs probably would come from your lower end, cost this, uh, this people, is the, this this is the upper end people, people that are, are, are stepping retired. in. So, so that stops for them to rehire and retrain too. Mm -hmm. So you keep their factor into that budget. Partially. 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 The What's portion that? that hits this year is, is an The portion we can guarantee that's hitting this year is yeah. calculated in there. The two that we are speculating on, um, there are a lot of things in their lives have to transition, sell on a house, for instance, uh, before that can happen. But uh, if it, it'll happen this year or next year, one of those two. So, so compared to our last year's budget, this one is pretty much the same? or a Pretty bit? much the same. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me where the, in the savings from, let's uh, say those six employees, you know, what approximately? We're, we're calculating we're doing a back of an envelope calculation now. We'll, later in the year, we'll give you a manpower need salaries, and we'll more quantify it. But we should see, we should see with those six employees, somewhere between three and four hundred thousand dollars savings in labor costs. Now that that's part of those dollars. You're going to promote some people, obviously, to take some of those places. And you'll have to use some of those dollars to, to compensate them. But you're talking on the order of a, let's say, three hundred fifty thousand dollars savings. You're going to spend fifty thousand in increased wages for the people that step up and take those new duties and responsibilities. So. So you're looking close to a ten percent cost reduction on staffing. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, six. Six I people would be more than more than ten percent. Well, I wasn't talking about numbers. I was talking about cash. Cash, yeah. yeah. There, there is one of those individuals we'll have to have to replace mm -hmm. uh, our our mechanic. Um, you just got a lot of equipment out there. You got to maintain, and and we'll be sorry to see him retire, but uh, we'll have to replace that position. Does anybody have any questions? Well, last year, mm -hmm. on your prediction, will that actually happen? How did that look? The only difference we had last year, of course, was purchase power because we didn't sell, so we sold back and we sold at a loss. The rest of the expenses, we were actually under budget on all of our expenses. You know, anticipating a 4% increase in our expenses generally, you've got gas for your vehicles, obviously you're going to see an increase there. <coughs> Are you going to see an increase in material cost? Probably. So we think that's a realistic, uh, realistic number. It was interesting when we built the the tortoise substation, upgraded that transformer, purchased it. A million eight for that, or two? Just a couple million. A couple of million dollars for that transformer. And at the time it was done, Lincoln County was looking at some options, and they they would have purchased the second transformer uh, in that bay, again of the same size. Uh, they were waiting to see and. Uh, it didn't develop, but about two years after we purchased ours, they came back and says, hey, 
we can, would you like to buy that second one? We've got a great deal and we're thinking, hey, the economy's a little sour, maybe they've come down on the cost. It only went up by 5%. During the worst years of the economy, they still had an inflationary cost of operation. And as a utility, we're a fixed operation amount. We, we could add a lot of customers and not increase our operational costs. We, that's kind of a fixed number. You're, you're not, you have X amount of lines you've got to maintain, take care of, and how many customers can we add that billing can still take care of? That's, we have a lot of room for growth, but we are a fixed, we do have a fixed amount that we've got to deal with, and you're, you're never going to drop below that. I mean, I guess you can, but it becomes at the risk of your customers, and <coughs> I think that's our job is to see that the customers' lights stay on. So anyway, I'll get off my soapbox on that.